Good morning, everybody. So I'm here on Front Street and Pearl is actually over here. I was trying to wake up early this morning and just get some shots of Pearl and then come back a little bit later and actually do a food review. But the cruise ship is actually coming in this morning and uh, I'm gonna see if I can set up my drone really quick and get some shots of it because this is so perfect. See, the cruise ship is coming in right there. So cool. some of those shots of the cruise ship actually docking here in Hamilton Harbor. So if you're a tourist and you're new to Bermuda, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get to Pearl. Go down off of the cruise ship and you'll see that there are actually some people here right now setting up the bridge. And then once you've walked off of the cruise ship into the terminal, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just go straight. And as you can see, there are a bunch of food options but I know that you're uh, probably wanting to, you know, obviously you're on an island, so you're gonna wanna eat some fish. So that's actually Pearl right there, and I'll see if I can get a better angle of it. But it's literally just right across the street. Look both ways, try not to get hit. Remember that in Bermuda, people drive on the left-hand side of the road. So if you're from America or anywhere else that drives on the right-hand side, just be aware of that. And Pearl, is right here up top. There's actually another restaurant called Porta Call. I believe it's owned by the exact same people. Yeah, what you can do is you can walk right up, check out the menu, see if there are any type of rolls that you like. Let's see if we can get a close up on some of the rolls. They have a bunch of stuff. I mean, some like really, really good appetizers, really just everything that you could ask for. You have a really, really nice view from up top and you can just kind of see everything that's going on. Since opening on March 24th, 2009, Pearl has consistently been one of the spearheads of premier sushi in Bermuda. Pearl is simplistic in their approach, serving classic maki, nigiri, and sashimi that everyone has grown accustomed to, but simultaneously awe-inspired in their ability to diverge from these staples and serve fresh, unique, and creative options that will leave you thinking, wow, they really did that. One of the most undervalued parts about Pearl is its atmospheric characteristics. It is just big enough to hold large gatherings, but small enough for an intimate date. Being able to pick between a balcony with such a unique view, but still have the ability to go inside, watch TV at a table, or enjoy lunch by the bar, leaves you with tons of options. I would recommend sitting close to the sushi chefs while they prepare your food. They're diligent with their craft, kind-hearted culinary artists. They aren't afraid to let you get a sneak peek into their world. They carefully prepare your food with purpose and take pride in their work. You'll have a wide array of seafood, chicken, and beef options to select from. And if you are a vegan, Pearl has options for you too. From the biggest dishes you could dream of ordering to small, modest portions and everything in between, there's something for everybody. The staff is diligent and super responsive. I've never seen so many smiling faces. And if you ever need anything, Pearl's intimate size means that help is just a few steps away. This doesn't mean that they don't get busy though, because they definitely do, but they'll always greet you with a smile. I can tell that the manager really emphasizes hiring staff that care about your eating experience. The menus are absolutely gorgeous. I, I really like the font on them. Super nice. What are you thinking about getting? I am looking at the Black Pearl 
and maybe the fried dynamite pearl. Which we're gonna treat ourselves and get two things each so we can try everything. I like how everything's got pearl in its name here. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea, what does the black pearl have in it? The black pearl has a lot of fish. It's got salmon, tuna, rockfish, barbecue eel. I love eel. So. Scallions, I think teriyaki sauce, and black rice. I think I'm gonna get. Yeah, I'll get the golden pearl, and also could I get, what was it? The type of dumpling that you always have. It's, it's a pork and chicken dumpling. The pork and chicken dumpling. Steamed pork and chicken dumpling. Before yes, please. With spiced sesame teriyaki sauce. Pork and chicken gyoza? Steamed. All right, so what Andrea and I ordered for an appetizer is the chicken and pork gyoza. It looks absolutely delicious. You know how you can tell if something is comes out of the freezer or not? That's not this. You can tell it's steamed here. They make it here. It's fresh. I absolutely love this. And I believe this is Andre, is this a teriyaki sauce? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see what this tastes like. Oh my god. It's really good. Let's try it with the sauce first. <laughs> mm, the sauce is good. Mm. The sauce is my favorite part. Usually don't eat gyoza with teriyaki sauce, but this is, or teriyaki sesame. I don't know, it's, I guess it's their own sauce, but it's really good. While Andrea is eating her last gyoza, one thing that I do want to say is that the manager and all of the staff here at Pearl are just really amazing people. I asked them if I could come in and shoot and get some behind the scenes shots, and they were more than happy to let me do so. And um, you know, they were just trying to make us feel as welcome as possible. So I do want to say to just everyone who works here, thank you so much for this opportunity. And the food is just like really amazing. All right, let's see if we can add some wasabi here. Oh my gosh, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of wasabi. Right. A little bit of soy sauce. Let's mix it up. I'm about to try the golden pearl real quick. So you all take a look at it. Mm. Mm. Wasabi is really fresh. It burns. Oh my god. Golden Pearl might be one of my favorite rolls that I've tried on the island. I'll try some of the Black Pearl real quick. It has salmon and eel, a little bit of scallion, and it looks like black rice. Alright, so you all check this out. I've never tried sushi before that has black rice. This is a little intimidating. I feel like the color is a little bit, it, it's throwing me off a little bit. But it's so good. It's a little bit more fishy than the golden pearl, but I think that's to be expected with the eel. So, but I like it. It's really, really good. I do not usually eat this much sushi, but we gotta, just gotta investigate. In my opinion, the black pearl is very nice with a little extra wasabi on it. Also, um, what I love about this, aside from the eel, it has rockfish. I love rockfish. Like, you know, usually I get it, it's fried or grilled, but it's, as much as I love it, it's, it's also very delicious raw. You gotta do it, chef's kiss. <laughs> this next sushi that we're gonna try is the fried dynamite pearl. I've never actually had this roll here. So this is gonna be like a nice new treat. You all can take a look at it real quick. 
has a nice like drizzle on it. There's like a really nice crust on the outside, a little bit of cucumber in the center. Okay, so this has soft shell crab tempura in it and a little bit of cucumber, a nice crispy tempura uh, exterior and a little bit of seaweed. So it's really interesting. I like that. It almost has like a horseradish type sauce to it. Let's go. Two thumbs up. And that's the specialty roll. Yep, the special one that we don't didn't catch the name of. <laughs> it's, don't you think it's a little bit mild? Like it's it's everything just blends together really easy. Yeah, it's almost like creamy. It tastes a little sweet, like is there mango or something in there? That's a good roll. Mm -hmm. Alright, for the last roll that I've ordered, it's the mystery roll. It's a specialty roll, which looks like it has a little bit of jalapeno on it, some salmon, tuna. Alright, let's see what this tastes like. I've never tasted a roll like this before. It has more of a mayonnaise base to it, but it's still mild. I feel like both of the um, rolls that I ordered were very mild rolls, even though they have a little bit of jalapeno in them and a couple different elements. So you said salmon, tuna, avocado, mango. And usually we'll wrap with the norishi, the rice, but this one is wrapped with the soya wrap. So happy for that. So good. Yeah. Mihai. Mihai. Okay, the Mihai roll. All right. Thank you. Perfect, thanks. Okay, so you all just heard it. This is the Mihai roll, and it has a lot going on, a lot. But I would definitely recommend, if you're straight off the cruise ship, even if you live in Bermuda, come here, try this roll. You're not gonna be disappointed. Everything about Pearl was absolutely fantastic. The ambiance was really, really nice. The staff was super welcoming. The food was quality. And of course, it's right on Front Street, so that's always a plus. So thank you, Pearl, so much for having me and my sister. It was an absolute blast to try out a couple of your specialty rolls. They're super affordable, and I absolutely am gonna recommend you all to everybody that I know. So have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll check you in the next one.